Hello and welcome everybody. This is the third video of my series how I set up my workspace and this one is all about my Wacom tablets and how I set them up. So uh, if you want to take a look, this is what my um, workspace, my desktop looks like. So you see that I have got two uh, Wacom Intuos Pro tablets, the large one and the small one, which allows me to work uh, on both of them at the same time. The one uh, the big one that I use for uh, just mirroring the, the large monitor, the ISO monitor. And the other one, the smaller one, is um, set to uh, mirror both uh, the, the screens, the big one and the laptop screen. So that is for me like an extended trackpad. Or if I need to jump between uh, the two or use the whole uh, double screen situation, I can just move my hand over and uh, use the, the right Wacom board to navigate through Finder and everything else or the second screen elements. And if I go back to the large one, I do have control over just Photoshop or just Capture One or just whatever is on the main screen. This is the reason why I use two and it works perfectly. I want to show you uh, the exact benefits of my uh, Wacom um, on-screen menu because this is what it's all about um, you use the tablet and you have the option to enable the on-screen menu and in this case I have put it to the stylus buttons and if I push one button on the uh, stylus pen of Wacom it opens up and here you can see that I do have uh, created a Photoshop main uh, um, menu and uh, two sub menus for brushes and for adjustment layers and um, I want to show you what this is all about so first of all in the first uh, wheel that comes up I have uh, the option to hide and show a layer I have to the option to turn the layer into a smart object and you see that I assigned a lot of actions to it those actions are all in my actions panel and I want to show you, uh, giving you one example a bit later in this video, how to set this up and how you can get your own actions into the wheel, which is super handy because when you're on the left side in the image, you can just push it and you can select the brush that you want by stacking uh, the, the second menu uh, below uh, the first one or by uh, just hiding the layer and revealing it again or by clicking undo, or by uh, completing uh, a stamp from current and below um, layers. So I don't have to go here to the menu, I don't have to push any keyboard shortcut, I have this all right at my uh, cursor. Now I want to show you what uh, it means to open the second layer of the, uh, the on-screen menu. So I hit the first one, I push the second one and the second one opens and here I have all my preset brushes so I can just check my um, detriment burn brush I can create my hair outline setup for example if I push this one a new layer appears and it automatically selects uh, the hairbrush that I want to create uh, new hairs in an image and so you can see that you can get all your presets, all your actions into the on-screen menu, which is a massive benefit on how to improve your workflow and uh, speed it up. All right, now let's get started in setting up an action and bringing it into the Wacom on-screen menu. And I will show you step-by-step step how you can do that. First of all, let's check one of those actions that we want to get there. And for example, um, we can take the dodge and burn two curves light action. This one will essentially create two uh, dodge and burn layers and name them accordingly. And also pick a brush that is set to 10% opacity, 100% flow and a smoothing of 10%. Okay, so that being said, I have created a shortcut for it. It's shift command F1. And just to show you that the same happens when we push uh, the keyboard shortcut, um, I have to push uh, the same buttons, but I have to add the function button, which is close to the numeric key, uh, or numeric keys on your uh, keyboard, if you use a large one. And um, by holding command shift function F1, you see that it adds 
to new layers so the action really works. All right, let's remove them and let's switch to button uh, to the to the regular mode for a moment so that you can see that this is the the shortcut and if you double click that here is what you need to do you have to assign a function key you have to you can uh, add shift or command or whatever you feel like and you can uh, color the action to easy find it in the button mode so that's what i did here uh, command shift f1 command shift f1 this is needed to go uh, and create it in the wacom uh, on screen menu all right so that's double checked let's move to the system settings and to the wacom tablet setting so you can see here that's the regular photoshop main and here um, i have you can choose the piece of the pie that you want in this case it's the upper one and if i open it again here uh, i can just go back to photoshop open up you see that's ps brushes ps adjustments that's the sub menu okay Let's go back here. So here I created more of those pie menus, on-screen menus. And um, to show you how I do it, you click this plus button and then you choose which one you want. This is the radio menu and we just call it test. So it shows up here. And it has the regular things applied. So I can now choose an on-screen shortcut. For example, use the Photoshop main to uh, call it up. And I can go and check another one, like the brushes. And now um, let's remove all these. Not to get distracted. And here, with this one, we will um, put our action that we just created for the two dodge and burn layers. So we go to keyboard, keystroke. We delete this one. And then we hold our buttons, as we said. Function key, command, shift, F1. And there it goes. If we don't uh, take the function key, nothing will happen. So you have to use the function key if you use... Uh, the F1 to F4 and the F7 to F12 uh, keys on your keyboard because Apple has assigned um, functions to it like um, changing the brightness or um, playing music, etc. So with the function key, you can surpass the um, system command. Okay, now we give it a name. We call it uh, Dodge, Dodge and burn light so that is exactly what i want to call up i can say yes and now we only have to bring uh, the action to the pen and therefore we go to the pen that i'm using which is the pro pen slim right now and you can see here uh, the photoshop main is set to open up when i push the upper button of the uh, of the stylus like like here okay so now we go to on-screen shortcuts and we take our test. Let's go to Photoshop. And now if we hold it, you can see, aha, it opens. It opens the Photoshop main. And so we can go to the main one. We do it again. Uh, the brushes works. And now the test for the dodge and burn. And here we are. It opens, uh, it runs the action and it opens those two layers for us and selects the right brush. So I sincerely hope that this information is useful for you and that you can uh, bring this into your own workflow. And if you do, please uh, let me know and let us know in the comments right below this video what kind of actions you used to put there, what does make your life easier and maybe you can bring in suggestions for others to try out and benef benefit in their own workflow. Um, of course, uh, it's also interesting to know what kind of um, actions or functions you put to your Wacom um, pen buttons. And uh, for example, if you have the 3D pen, you have three buttons. If you use this one, which is the Wacom Pro Pen Slim uh, or the Pro Pen, you have two buttons. And if you're working with the Wacom Intrus or the Wacom One, you have one button. So you can assign either 
uh, the on-screen menu or a shortcut uh, of your choice. And I would be very curious to know what you put there. So to wrap it up, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found value. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, hit the bell and uh, so that you get notified when new videos are uploaded. And please forward this video to a friend or a colleague that can also benefit from this information. And until then, uh, wishing you nothing but the best. Watch out for the other videos of the series. There's one where I set up my Photoshop and there's one where I set up my Capture One. And there will be another one where you can see how I calibrate my monitor with the ISO software color navigator. Thank you very much for tuning in and I see you in the next one. Bye.